Hey guys, Lindsay here, and I've, I've got to tell you, I'm real excited about this one. I've, um, I've just played my first game of Warcry, so the skirmish game from Games Workshop. I absolutely loved it. Like, I, I had a game with a mate, I had to borrow one of his spare warbands. Look, I've decided I'm going to take the plunge, I'm going to dive right into the game. Yeah, so I thought what better way to do it than to actually share it with you guys. So I thought I'll show you assembling it, painting it, and playing with it. So, so this will be a series of videos, so yeah, stay tuned and uh, we'll see more. Alright, so quick update. After a flick through the Games Workshop web store, uh, I found that I really had two choices of warbands, either the Splintered Fang or the Spire Tyrants. Now, First, first looks, when I looked at the Splintered Fang, I straight away thought Deepkin, like, and that's not what I really imagine Warcry is about. That's also why I didn't go with the option of using uh, one of the other Age of Sigmar armies as a, a Warcry warband. So, of course, that left me with Spy Tyrants, which, I mean, I looked at the models and I thought, these are amazing. You know, they've these epic, like, real gladi gladiatorial style uh, models that just, you know, they're just, they're just so iconic, you can just look at them and they look like Chaos Warriors, but like a new, updated, you know, more, you know, just want to get in there and, and have a game with these guys. So, you know, that's where I've gone. Um, shipping's meant to be four to five business days, so. Okay guys, it's finally arrived. I'm excited. It took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to to get here, but these things happen. Alright, let's have a look in here. Just have to excuse that noise in the background there, my young one's a little excited. Yeah, one sec. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's for a different project. Don't worry about that one. I'm actually like super impressed uh, with how they've packaged this. So this wasn't from um, Games Workshop. I actually bought this from Empro.cc. And yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Right, and there we go. We have the Spire Tyrants. All right. There's actually, just on the back, it just shows you the different characters. Manual. So they just look fairly. Okay, so you've got a few options in here of what you can do with them. A little painting guide on the back. Just one sec. Okay, now it's like three sprues, just normal man sized. I don't know if you can. This will actually show up on the camera. These are very, very nicely detailed sculpts. We've got all our faces. We have our cards. Sorry about that guys, just had a little bit of trouble with the young one. Uh, I guess that's the problem with these uh, unboxings is you don't really get too many second takes. Uh, so what we've got here is we've got the cards. Um, these detail the different characters that you get in the warband and then they've also got the different abilities uh, on the back. So I'll cover, but these are just all in different languages. So I'll come back to this in a second because they tie in with our character cards. So each character has 
like a symbol here and that will correspond with one of these symbols uh, on the on the cards and that will give them the abilities so that that can be used and then you've got obviously like their stats so the you know it's a melee weapon pretty sure that's range one so you need a or you roll four dice and that's their strength and you play it off the other person's toughness and then that's how many damage so on a normal hit it'll do one damage and on a critical hit it does four damage so that's just the same basically with all of you, you guys there's a few uh, models that will have multi-part options in the set so your pit fighter you've got your pit fighter with punch dagger your pit fighter with spear and then your pit fighter with net and obviously you've got pit veterans with dual weapons and pit veterans with shields so what I'm I haven't looked at the kit yet to know if I'm actually able to do it but I'm going to try and magnetize the kit as best as I can so I can swap it around depending on how I, I want to play for that day Alright, so there you go, that's part one, done and dusted. We've got the models now, we've had a look at them. So next time we'll be assembling them and going over painting. I've got a few ideas running through my head what I'm going to do with them as far as painting goes. Maybe not going to veer too much off of uh, how the box art looks, but you know, we'll see uh, when it comes to it. So, yeah, as I said guys, I'm learning Warcry right now, I haven't actually played it that much. If I've made some mistakes, just leave it in the comments, I'll try and read them all and get back to you. Yeah. So if you like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, go over to the page, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click the notification bell up the top, just to make sure that you don't miss out on any of our new videos, including part two of my Warcry vlog. Alright, see you next time guys.